Hello everybody, I'm Lokwit and we're back for more Dwarf Fortress Season 3. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, I believe this is episode 3 or 4. I'm not quite sure. I have a hard time remembering these things anymore. <coughs> anyway, we are back to continue the journey. When we last left off, we had dropped our uh, wagon down the center of this little shaft, and everything is now on the base here, so we can start getting work getting to work doing other stuff. Now, I believe I have a burrow, so I can delete this burrow. There we go. And we, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unsuspend that, and we are going to unsuspend that, and now we're going to come over to Dwarf Therapist because there's something I remembered. If it doesn't crash on me. Oh, come on. It, oh, it crashed because I loaded it before Dwarf Fortress, or before the world was actually loaded. So that's one of the things about Therapist these days, is if you load Therapist up before your world is loaded, it does not like it and it will crash. So, now, last episode, I had made Justin a mason. And I forgot that his, in the notes that I have here, he wants to be a minor metalworker soldier. That does not include a mason. So, no more mason for you. Ha ha. Alright. We're going to take minor Nuggle Klosh, Kolsosh here, uh, and make him a mason instead. Alright, now we're going to come back up here to where our, <coughs> excuse me, our masonry workshop is and unsuspend all of that stuff and start building our statues. Oh, we don't have statues, huh? Alright, so let's make a stockpile then. Just a generic old stockpile. And we're gonna put we're gonna disable that. Furniture we're gonna enable. That should include statues, I believe. I'm just, yes, uh, statues right there. Okay, good. Oh, come on, dang it. Okay, and then we want finished goods as well. That's it. There we go. Now let's come back down here and see what we got going on. Okay, so we got two of our uh, farms just about dug out, and I forgot to add in Designate. There we go, and there we go. Let's see. Uh, do we have anybody else that can act? That's actually not doing anything that we can have do. Uh, Mason, yeah, you know what? No, I want him to start doing stuff as soon as possible. We got our army guys here. Oh, I hate those pop-ups. Um, Mr. Lazy, no jeweler. You know what? We can make our fishermen. No, I'll just leave it the way it is for now for masonry. Um, as we get more people, it'll be okay. All right, now we want to dig out. Next one. All right, get that dug out. And then we will go and dig the channels. What do we got going on up here? Anything working? Uh, Mason's workshop, nothing's going on. But they are moving things in there. That's good. Oh, the anvil. Oh, well. 
It will be fine. Okay, so we want some floodgates. Where, oh. Where are our floodgates at? Uh, there we go. A bunch of floodgates. And then come over to our mechanic. And repeat some mechanisms forever. Come back down here and keep an eye on this. just yet. We want to finish both of these rooms here before we start having them do that. Onyx Opal. Excellent. Is that it? Yes, that's an Onyx Opal there. Splendid. Excellent, excellent. Oh, we don't want to dig that out yet. I was about to open that up over there. Alright, now the way this should work is water is going to flow down pretty evenly all the way. Um, yeah, so water is going to split 50 50 and go this way, and then split 50 50 and go either way here. And then once it hits these, it'll split 50-50 and go left or right. Now, it's not going to flow perfectly 50-50, but it's going to be pretty darn close. Um, we need to build some construction and floor. Now, traditionally, you hit the... Uh, okay. See how I was doing that there? I have box mode enabled. However, uh, traditionally, it is set to be the UMKH to make things bigger. I don't like that. I prefer the box mode. That way I can just go and boom, be it done. And you do that by hitting the B key. Plain and simple. Alright, come back down here. Keep moving on. Keep moving forward. And I'm actually tempted to dig this one out uh, as well when I flood it. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about this one reflooding or opening the gate here or anything like that because all I'm going to have is one gate here um, and then a gate here, here, and here and that's it. So I guess we're going to start with eight farms then. Oh come on dude, where are the rest of you at? Alright, what's going on up here? Alright, floodgates are almost done. Statues aren't getting anything. Those aren't getting anything. Alright, we want to prepare the meals and prepare the drinks. Get to cooking, people. Alright, we can put a statue here. We have one basalt statue ready. stuff is not getting built. That's fine. I'm used to things not getting built in Dwarf Fortress by now. Come on, people! Dig! Dig! Yeah, we're g I'm getting some slowdown here, and I'm not exactly sure why. Um, if I hit escape, let that pump back up real quick. I mean, not like it really matters. It's all text-based. There's no real motion, but meh. Things seem to go a bit faster overall when it's not doing that. Okay, what do we got down here? Anything going on? Uh, we got some lizards, it looks like. Newts. We have no enemy animals. We've got a, an asp and a, ooh, a fire elemental. You're probably down in the depths of... Uh, yeah, you're in the depths of the, uh, the fortress, the volcano at level 20. 
Oh yeah, you are way down there. And that's fine. Alright, here's our fortress. There we go, we're back down. Alright, what do we got going on? Alright, they've almost got that one dug out. Do we have any doors? We do have doors. Might as well put a door here and here. Come on, guys. Hurry up. We've got one guy that's not really all that happy. Why is that? Three dwarves. What are they saying? Relief from duty. Yeah, not a surprise. There's a military. Rough cave floor. Miasma. Rough cave floor. Rough cave floor. Lack of chairs. Thirsty. Costed by vermin. Was knocked out during a cave in. Uh, yeah. So, not a lot that won't improve over time. Alright. We can now open up this fourth one. Not that we are going to use it. We're just going to dig it out to save time in the future. So, it's going to take quite probably two or three episodes for this once we actually get it dug out um, and we get it flooded to actually do anything worthwhile with. Alright, so. Let's see here. We want to build, trap, lever. We're going to put the lever right here. Now we need to make sure we got a bunch more mechanisms. Ah, good, they're being constructed. Splendid! Splendid! Alright, okay, so we can build some beds now. back down here, let them dig this out, and then I'm going to dig my uh, workshops on this floor as well. Actually, we're just going to dig one like that. go down probably three or four and then yeah because we want it to be an actual stone we'll go down two or three more floors and build our uh, our bedrooms and we'll get to work on those come on boys speed it up speed it up what are their levels looking like seven 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 excellent guy fishing. Yes, it looks like he is, so I need to build a actual fish place. What is it? Um, can't remember off the top of my head what today is. Oh, workshops, that would probably help. <laughs> Fishery, that is what I'm looking for. Fishery, put this right here. Make it out of wood logs. All right. Perfect. Come back down here. Keep an eye on this down here because this is going to be the most important stuff right now. And we're going to actually dig our bedrooms before we dig our... Uh, our workshops right here out because uh, that's that's really important is to get our people downstairs into bedrooms into beds so they can sleep properly 
uh, because that is one of the biggest modifiers to their happiness is um, sleeping on the floor. Slept on a rough floor, slept on a rough floor, uh, so it's really one of the biggest uh, mood killers in the early game is uh, sleeping on a, a rough floor. So the sooner you can get all those beds made um, and then put down into even just a dormitory, uh, the better off your, your fortress is going to be. Ooh, we can kill an asp. See if we can follow it. See our guys run up there and kill this asp. Ah, oh, there they go. Kill it, kill it. What's it looking like? What's its wounds looking like? Body head tail is not hurt at all. He's actually getting hurt. Imagine that. Uh, what's his inventory look like? Uh, he has everything it looks like. See, he's got his backpack, greaves, boots, gauntlets, flask. He does not have his weapon. Interesting. Why does he not have his weapon? Military. Equip. They all have a bismuth bronze warhammer. Why they're not equipping it is beyond me. Where does that snake go? There it is. Ah, it's starting to get hurt. Good. And it's dead. And one of our army guys just drops all of his gear. Or does he have it with him? Oh, no, he still has it with him. Excellent. Uh, he's got his Warhammer. All right. That worked out for really nice. Okay. How's our digging down down here? Getting better, getting better. I now want to come up here, and seeing as uh, we were told that our people are getting accosted by vermin, we need to release our mole weasels. And I believe that's all we can release. Yep, that's it. Okay. Now the mole weasels are going to roam around and do their own thing and hunt the vermin like the rats and the birds and other things that are going to otherwise bother our dwarves and put them into a sour mood. Alright, we got three guys digging. Once they get that all dug out, I will open up these four chambers here. And I will actually kill that spot right there. So we're not going to need that at all. You know, it might actually just be worthwhile. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to dig out all four sets. I'm just going to dig out all of this. As much as I want to get my beds done soon, I don't want to have to come back and re-flood this stuff because it takes forever when it's... Uh, <coughs> it fills up pretty quick, but it takes forever to drain. Um, and I don't want to mess with having that uh, again. Having to do it again later down the road. We're doing well enough right now. we got a bunch of beds made. Um, I'm actually going to make some more beds. Because we're going to need more. We'll probably get a migration wave before uh, we get our beds built. And you can see we're having little cave-ins here. 
um, it's nothing to be worried about until you get uh, huge cave-ins where there's actual the ceiling and the floor above collapses into the floor you're working on. Let me get those little bits done. Alright, now we can open up that spot, that spot, that spot, and that spot. There we go. Get your butts back over here, boys. Take it all out. I suppose I could just open this up anyway. Yeah, it's summertime, so it's time we take our mason guy, take him off of digging, and let him get to doing masonry. Where's our craft guy? Did We brought a stone crafter, didn't we? Uh, stone crafting... No, we did not bring a stone crafter. Wow, okay. Um, let's give our jeweler stone crafting for now. Oops, I forgot it's saving. Let it finish saving, then we can commit that change. Come on, game, taking your sweet time. There we go. Now let's commit that change, and then come up to our surface, build a workshop. We want a uh, craft dwarf's workshop, R. We're going to put that one right there. Again, make that out of wood logs. And we're going to have that one guy start doing that, and... Is that who is building it? Yes, that is who is building it. Splendid. And we're going to set him to making rock mugs. Nothing but rock mugs. Alright, and repeat that till the end of time. Alright, we got our bridge. Oh, two bridges built. That one is still inactive. back down here. We're slowly getting that dug out. And one of our guys just left his bismuth bronze battle pick down here. Alright, we need to use our auto dump command to get all of this stuff with the exception of this. Up to the surface, right here. I believe it is auto dump visible. There we go. Could not move item cave fungus. Okay. Now, now there's still a bunch down here that was, wasn't moved. Why? Okay, so DB claim. There we go. Let's claim all of that. Dump all of that. Come back up to F1. Come here. Repeat that command. Now we got 38 items quick dumped. It's still a bunch down here that's not getting dumped, and I don't know why. It's weird. Claim. Okay. And then we need to claim this stack. there we go. We've got so much stuff there for our people to actually work with right now, it's not even funny. So, I guess I'm not going to worry about anything else. Now, do we have any wheelbarrows built? Ah, yes, we've got wheelbarrows right there. Imagine that. Okay. 
but this guy needs to make some wooden bins as well. And that will actually be for the uh, mugs once they start to be produced. Okay, our guys should get back to digging that out before too long. They're probably going upstairs to collapse on a wooden onto a hard cave floor and then complain about it. Is he making mugs? Yes, he's making mugs. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, and we've got a couple of statues to place. Two to be exact. Alright. Come back up here. And let's come back to here. Reload the dwarves. And see if this says anything about the statue. Has been satisfied at work, admired at building, has a family event, slept on a rough cave floor, complained about the lack of chairs, uneasy noise, family member. No, yeah, they're not talking about those statues yet. I guess they're, there's not enough of them and they are pretty shoddy quality. Yeah, we got three mugs. Splendid. Oh, these two are a little bit nicer than this one. Come on, get it dug. I think I'm going to let them get this finished, and then I'm going to end this episode because I've actually got something I need to get done. That should take us to about 35 minutes or so. And we've got a bunch of beds built already. Um, and actually what I can do... No, not that way. I want... So I can put them here. And turn this into a dorm. All right, and that'll help their happiness out quite a bit. It's not going to be private quarters, but it will be some quarters at least. Okay, come on, there we go. Make room. There we go. Dormitory, and there we go. Free bed. Nope, that's what I meant to do. Okay, dormitory, that's all I need to do. And they'll just go start sleeping in there on their own. Nobody will have any specific beds, but it will make them quite a bit happier in the long run. What are you... Oh, okay, he's building the floor here. That's fine. Where are the rest of our masons? Oh, yes. I forgot to do something here. Mr. Spaghetti, he wants to be lazy. We need to toggle that. Get rid of all that. And then the miners, I don't want to have that either. Because they just need to mine. There we go. See, we've got a miner already sleeping there. That is Justin Letus. Congratulations, my friend. You have the first privilege, or the privilege of sleeping in the bed for the first time. Or having the first nap in the fortress, whatever you want to say, on a bed. Now that is more than enough beds for now to let all of our dwarves sleep at the same time and even when we get a uh, migration wave, which I'm going to guess, with my luck, are going to come in way up there. 
or down here on a second on a, the uh, different level than we were on Cinnabar, okay, we struck Wolframite as well good, good just checking to see if these are forbidden or something and they're not so that just makes no sense as to why the auto dump feature doesn't dump everything But as much as it is dumping, it's not a big deal. Wow, look at all those rotten fish. This is this is why I hate uh, the fishermen. I mean, they, they have nowhere to put the fish, but they're going to go fish and just set it there and just leave it. Oh, I'm just fishing for the fun of it. What's his skills look like anyway? Eight. And he's pretty good. He's getting really good at that. Okay, we need to actually build restraint. Uh, v. For our dogs. V, not R. V. Where's my, there's my mouse cursor. All right, put that there, and you guys have seen me do this before already. This is, you know, you attach a dog here, or any animal actually. They can only reach these five squares here. This animal can reach these five squares here, so it doesn't matter. You can have an animal here and an animal here, or here and here, and it's they're still going to see every creature that comes through here, no matter what. So we want to assign that Mastiff and did we literally only bring two Mastiffs? I thought we brought more than that. I guess we did. Hansel's Brew Drink. Really? Okay, so we should have our table Yes, we have the table, okay. We're going to put this table here, and we're going to put this chair here and get our guy to work um, cataloging our inventory system. All right. Assign me make a sign there we're going to make this our meeting hall and then we go to our noble screen manager bam broker bam bookkeeper bam and then we want to go to settings and make all accounts accurate and he's going to get right over there and start doing that and then we can come check our stocks and find out that how many seeds... Oh, we do not have any plump helmets. Wow. We do have quite a few prepared meals. Oh, and that's why we don't have them. Oh, gosh. I forgot to come in here and do this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, they're set to not cook anyway. That's interesting. Weird. Curious. Oh well, I just forgot to do that sooner than I should have. All right, so that's in place for those now. Let's come up here and add a couple of other levers. Actually, no, no. Before we do that, we need to dig us a lever room. Let's just make it three by four, or six. How about that? There we go. Three by six. I don't expect them to dig it out really quickly, but if they dig it out, I'll be happy. Come 
on, boys, get that dug out. What is he doing? Beds are slowly getting made. Oh, yes. I need to pull those mastiffs out of here because they're going to keep getting moved back and forth between the chains and the pasture because for some reason the two orders don't uh, auto cancel one another out when you make them. So, you've got a mastiff here. You tell him to go here. A dwarf will come pick him up drag him down and leave him and then another dwarf will come and say oh hey you're supposed to be in, up in the pasture so they're going to drag him from here back up to the pasture and it just goes back and forth forever and it's a nice endless cycle that you want to try to avoid alright distillery fishery let's get this stuff dumped rotten that. Wow, quite a few mugs being made. That's good. How are we looking down here? Not very good. Alright, you know what? Let's come and tell this guy to mine again. There we go. Hopefully we can get this dug out a little bit sooner because I want to get it done because I have to go do something real quick here. in a couple of minutes. Okay. Oh, we got one guy digging because the other guys are just off sleeping and drinking and being a general pain in my butt. Yeah, one guy is digging, one guy is building, and one guy is doing nothing. Constructing building probably. Yes. What building? Justin, he's the one doing nothing. Hmm. Okay, good. He's coming back to mine again. That's what I was hoping for. Come on. Awesome, we created us a masterpiece, which means probably this one right here, no? Which one is it? It's probably not even a mug. What was it? Engineer, really? It was a, uh, a lever. Masterful butes basalt mechanism crafted by the engineer. Alright, what about this one? Superior. Finally. That must be the masterpiece. Interesting. Whoa! Yeah, look at the value on that. 360. Very nice. Are we ever going to get our uh, bins done? I guess we did get some done. Ah! There we go. And then we want to max our barrels as well. Wooden bin needs logs. Dude, there's logs all over the place out here. Oh, they're forbidden. And they're set to dump. That's why. That's all that we have. Okay, he should be able to go get those. Alright, there's a barrel coming out. Completely useless, but hey, there we go. 
And that's probably our barrels with our like our booze and stuff in them too. No, just a fungi barrel. No, just a wooden barrel. Interesting. Alright, that's getting a little bit closer to being done. Come on, guys. Alright, zoom in a couple more levels here. What are you doing, dude? Seriously. Justin, come on, buddy. Get to work, man. Get to work. We don't want combat. We do not want miscellaneous. We want labor. You're a level 9 expert miner. Come on, man. Get to expert mining. And you're in a great mood. You're on break. Yay, migrants! And I clicked. I lost where the heck they were coming from. Ah, there they are. Alright. Come on in, boys. And girls, and everybody. Hopefully we get some good miners. And other stuff. Let them populate. What is this? A do beetle nymph. Interesting. Interesting pet. Alright, let's see what we got. All of five, and not a single one of them is a miner. Uh, leather worker. Ah, milker. Good, we can put him to work. Sorry, put her to work. What else we got? We got a sh chandeliering and waxing. Really? That is useless. Alright, clear all labors. Toggle hauling. Alright, now we don't have a mason, so let's pick one of these people to be a mason. You're peasants. You have actually no skill in anything, so we'll make you a mason. Alright. Commit those changes. Okay, splendid. What else do we need to get done? Let's see here. Let us make one person fish prep. I will experiment, experiment, experiment with this. And we're going to give you fish cleaning. And that is it. We're going to take your fish cleaning away. Commit. Okay, what else do we have? Mason turned on, we got a fish prep turned on. Um, these last two guys, I think what I can do with them. Invention and research, okay, I will name you the inventor. Not that I'm sure what that does just yet. And the last but not least one, hopefully. He's the chandelier man. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, and this guy, we can get milking turned off on him, get butchery turned off on you, get herbalism turned off on you. You know, we're going to make you a farmer. Just a straight up farmer. be a little while before you can do anything, but I don't have a problem letting people sit idle, unlike uh, some other Let's Players out there. Um, yeah, I mean, 
yes, you want to try and keep your idlers down, but it's it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. I've become an expedition leader? Really? I wasn't already the expedition leader? That's curious. Um, yeah, modest dining room I need. Yeah, I know. I Whatever. Get over it. <laughs> I know I need that stuff. Uh, we don't have the facilities for it yet, game. Alright, good. So they're not going to have that hard of a time getting in. They just got to come down the mountain. Excuse me. All right. What can you make now? Let's. We've got a lot of buckets. Uh, we got a couple beds left over. We got some barrels. Uh, I know we've made some uh, some bins. What else do we need? I don't want to go using up my wood if I don't have to, so... Um, I think we're just going to leave him empty for now. Leave him alone not doing anything. Okay, and we've got a lot of mechanisms. So I'm going to cancel that right now. And leave him go. Hopefully, uh, the little fishing dudes will cooperate properly and get done what they need to get done. That is almost done. Come on. Where are you going, man? Where are you going? Oh, well. We're almost done, and this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would take them to get that done. I really wish they'd finish because I want to finish this before this episode is done because I have somewhere I need to be and go get done myself. Okay, we got a second one coming back in. Looks like that guy over there that was drinking. What do we have up here? What about these guys? Are these guys coming in are here yet? Okay, they're one guy up here. What are you? Farmer. Inventor. Milker. Ah, right. I need to set up that milker. So, I need to build workshop. And I believe it is the farmer's workshop. I'm going to put it right above this piece of wood. then it needs any workshop farming. So I think that's what that is. Hopefully he'll get down there and actually do it. I don't know. I've never done any milking on this game before. And we're just about done here. Rose quartz. Okay. And there he is. Good. So we want to milk creature, repeat forever, then make cheese, repeat forever, and then shear harvest creature. And that should keep him busy from now till the end of time. And we're done digging that out, so I'm going to end this episode now. I'm Loquid, and I've been playing Dwarf Fortress for you guys. Uh, we got a little bit done this time. Hopefully next episode we'll be able to get our uh, channels dug out to flood our farms and start that process so that we can actually go build us some dormitories and some workshop space proper. So until next time, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you have not yet, 
and leave me a comment down below let me know if you want any dwarves or what you think I should work on or what you think I'm doing right or wrong in this game. Talk to y'all later. Peace.